If this program achieves everything that we think it can do and what we believe it will do, then I think everybody wins. One thing I really love about this initiative is it's about the intersection of our values and our business. We have the opportunity to share better decisions. That's our mission. Um, so for me, this is all that Moody's is about. After the tragic death of George Floyd, I think the firm had to ask itself, what was it gonna do about it? But when the firm was asking that question, the question was, what do we have here that we could offer potentially? We have data, we have software, we have solutions that people could use. And so that really became the impetus of how we formed CORE. The primary three pillars of CORE are engage. We wanna go out there and engage with a multicultural stakeholders, having conversations around issues that directly concern them. Number two, we wanna empower. That could mean with our data, that could be with our software, that could be through our strategic partners. We wanna make sure that we're helping people to make better decisions in their day. And then finally, invest. Whether that means actual funds or that means even our own human resources, into institutions that we think could help support multicultural stakeholders. We knew we had to do more to broaden our reach and find ways to have an even greater impact on our communities. How can we really walk the talk? How can we have lasting impact beyond just this moment? Putting the money back into the communities, so why Moody's helping them, making sure they're stood up with the best resources, tools, and latest technologies that you know their peers and other large financial institutions are using, they're, they're just gonna be more impactful. Moody's commitment uh, allows us to continue to invest in small businesses in the United States, which is the lifeblood of the economy and to create meaningful outcomes in communities across the U.S. Most people will tell you that uh, inequality in this country is something that is just a result of not enough opportunities being in low-income communities. I can tell you it's actually not enough capital to go after those opportunities. At least 1 to 1.6 trillion of economic productivity was left on the table. That means if you have capital that goes to those opportunities, you can actually capture that for the benefit of the community.